Hello everyone and um, welcome back. Today is the first of a set of tutorials I will be doing for Brick Creeks. So basically I looked online and as I um, I couldn't find like any Brick Creeks tutorials for the things that I will be tutorialing. Um, so if you are wanting to uh, play Brick Creeks and you don't know that much, I'm reasonably new to Brick Creeks as well but there is a few things that I know that might interest a few people. Um, so let's get into this, yeah. Okay, so I've actually started with the car and I'm not exactly sure why I started with the car, maybe just to show off some of the things you can do in Brick Creeks. But today's um, tutorial is going to be about the cameras in Brick Creek. So, first of all, we've got the free cam, which is the most useful of all the cameras, apart from obviously this camera where you can look around your creation. But, um, so, free cam, you hit F, and you are detached from the vehicle. You can then use WASDA to move around the city or wherever you wish to move around like so and then you might think this is quite slow use this mouse scroll wheel to change your speed so you control your your speed your camera speed with your mouse wheel now to edit nodes and things not edit nodes but on like on missions like there and on the workshop like here you have these points that you can click now the circles are grayed out if you cannot click them because I'm too far away so just get a little closer and as soon as they turn into circles point your camera roughly so they're in the center of your screen and right click on your mouse it then opens up like a little tiny piece of information like enter editor or car park which is a mission um, then just click E and you can just enter editor now if you're in a vehicle and you click E on the enter editor then it will remove your vehicle and place it in the editor but if you get out your vehicle and walk over to the editor and click E it will leave your vehicle in existence let me show you this so vehicles here run in go to editor come out and then you're like oh I'll spawn another one now we've got two okay but if I only want one then I can always just go here click enter editor and then exit on foot and there you go so that is um, some of the free cam sorted out the next part of the free cam is if you hit F you can set yourself up in a nice position like this and then if you hit shift F then it locks the free cam so that then your controls control the person again uh, and if those who want to know how to wink just right click because that's him aiming down a sight and you can walk around and do things in free cam and it works with every vehicle or anything so um, that's kind of cool and then just hit shift F again and you're back into free cam so um, returning to the other cameras let's get out a plane now as you'll probably know if you play this game no that's not right that one you can just click scrap vehicles if you go into the match and then click scrap vehicle there we go now you can either use the free cam to go and place your um, place your aircraft down like this so I can place it down on the runway by scrolling down moving slightly and holding space to make a green box appear the green box comes up when you hold space now when you let go of space it will spawn in your aircraft so I'm gonna let go of space in three two one there we go so hold space let go of space to spawn your aircraft anywhere and you can move around with where you want to spawn it you can spawn it up in the air like so um, it will probably break but that's fine um, the other option is hit M or you have to be out free cam hit M and you come into the map now I didn't know there was a map for a while but this is quite helpful so here you can teleport your vehicle or just your person to any of the workshops which is these little um, orange cogs a mission which are these flags here or the vehicles which are here now the other thing is if you're in a vehicle you can click 
anywhere on the map and it will move your vehicle to that point as you can see this this tiny steering wheel is my vehicle i can move it to this end of the runway or i can move it back here so that's the other way to move around the map now um right so basically when you're flying airplanes you fly using something called alt mode now alt mode is interesting because you fly with the mouse as a joystick but um problem with that whoops problem with you flying a mouse as a joystick is the fact that um the fact that the camera doesn't really move that well so it's really hard to follow it now this is where the three types of camera modes come in so that's why I got an aeroplane for this example so as you can see Wazda does nothing nothing does anything and that is because you're not in the operation mode which is alt mode so if you hit alt once you can see a little red cog comes up in the bottom corner of the grey grid thing now all you need to do is uh, follow the instructions made by a person now, if you want to move your camera a bit more just get out of alt and go back into alt so let's say I wanted to fly it from here now there's three different camera modes as you're going to see there's world local and orbital. Now orbital is my favourite but I'll go through all of them to start with. So first of all I'm going to take off on world. Here we go. Just going to slowly bottle up. Now you can see that the aeroplane has nothing to do with me. The, the aeroplane is on its own camera and my camera just faces in one direction. Which means that if I want to fly, it's not like free cam, but if I want to fly, you can see that the aeroplane just turns within what I'm doing. And that can be really annoying because then you have to go out of alt mode, turn it back, go into alt mode. But as soon as you take it out of alt mode, you lose control and you will crash. So um, that's option one. You can use world camera if you like. I use world camera. World camera is best for if you're not in alt mode, so when driving cars. Um, so you can move the camera around using your mouse um, but it's not good for when you're using alt mode now the second mode is um, is local mode so I'm going to go out of alt quickly to put it where I want it now local mode sticks to your aircraft completely like doesn't at all move so as you'll see when I turn the aeroplane when I bank the aeroplane the camera banks um, etc etc now I'm using my mouse to fly the aeroplane, there will probably be a separate tutorial on this but um, so that's why it's so wobbly uh, yes yeah, so there we go and you can see my my camera sticks to the aircraft completely it's kind of a bit odd for flying to be honest it feels a bit weird especially when you want to like bomb something you can't move your camera at all and you're like well I don't know I feel a bit restricted by what I've got here Oops. I didn't think I was that close to that. Uh, right, and the final camera mode is orbital camera. Now I got the wrong idea of this when I first was on the game, but orbital orbital camera is my favourite camera. So um, I'll show you it quickly. If we um, go into orbital, there we go. Set ourselves behind the aircraft, and then click Alt. So we're now locked behind the aircraft ish. But then, when we throttle up on orbital camera, you'll see a big difference. Orbital camera sticks to the back of your aircraft, but it does not follow every move. It stays flat. So, it will follow your aircraft from the back, like I will show you here. But you, as you can see already, the aeroplane is pulling up and is no longer... I'm not directly behind the aeroplane. The aeroplane is pulling up within my um, camera view and it's banking within my camera view, I'm not locked to the bank but as you can see I'm still always behind the aircraft now that's my favourite view because it gives you the kind of idea that you're flying and it's still quite good to be able to see what you're doing in relation to the ground um, so I highly recommend using oh goodness I'm not the best flyer, I didn't realise I was that close um, but it kind of gives you the idea
anyway, it kind of gives you um, the idea of how the cameras work and why they are pretty important in Brick Creeks. Now, you, you don't drive one of these in alt mode. You can use the uh, you can move around the camera with your mouse by moving your mouse. So, the option is you can go into world. There we go. And now the truck changes in my view and I can just keep up with it like this now I find that's better than being stuck to the back of it with a vehicle but um, preferable otherwise use orbital uh, chase camera does not work on vehicles let me show you it was local actually it's called local but it does work just a bit I don't know I feel like it it's a bit odd to be honest um, and there's no real u reason for it, especially if you like stick to the side. As you can see, you stick to the side of it, and that could be useful for making videos or something. But otherwise, um, not really. But anyway, guys, that's it for today. Um, more tutorials will be coming out, so check them out. And I will see all of you, um, oh, in the next video.